Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Hive Active Plug, and also how to reset it should things go wrong. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to set up the Hive Active Plug with your Hive Active System or Hive Heating System. Now, there's never been a better time actually to get one of these because at the moment, if you're a British Gas customer or you're a member of the Rewards Scheme, then you can actually get one of these free of charge, completely free, no charge whatsoever, delivered to your door. And that's part of British Gas's giveaway. There's about 20,000 of these available at the moment for giveaway. So if you are a British Gas customer or a Hive customer, go to the Rewards app and see if you're eligible for this offer. Anyway, let's get on and show you how to set this thing up. So the first thing you're gonna need is the uh, device with your Hive app on it or computer on the Hive website and your username and password logged in. You will need your plug itself and you'll need a power source. Now for this particular instance, I'm gonna be using a strip plug uh, but normally you'd plug this just into a wall socket. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in and get some power to it. And now we're gonna go into the Hive app and you should find when you plug it in, it starts flashing away with the yellow light. That means it's ready for connection. So on the Hive app, if you click on your profile section and then click on install a device and then scroll down to other Hive devices and then it asks you to get started, make sure it's plugged in, etc., etc. So now it's going to scan for the device, and hopefully it'll connect straight away. Normally it doesn't take too long at all. Generally by the time the lights stop flashing, which it has at the moment, that means it's connected and it's just trying to sort out a few things in the background. So as you can see on the phone now, it says we found one device, the plug times one. So we'll hit next. So that's saving the settings. And now you've got the option to add more if you want to, or click continue. So we'll hit continue because we don't have any more plugs we want to add at the moment. And there we go, boom, it's in the menu, it's available for use. So if I flip that forward so you can see it, if I press the button, let's go into the socket itself. So press the button and there we go. The lights come on to say it's working. And there's an audible noise in the relay so you can hear that it's come on and off. Now obviously if you want to set this up to use with other ecosystems such as uh, the Amazon system or the Google system, then you can add it to your system quite easily. So then you can have voice control of the socket. So if you've got the socket placed somewhere, say behind a cupboard or hidden out of the way, you can just use the voice command, turn it on and off, or obviously use the app. So that's how to set it up and add it. Now, if you want to actually remove it, if, you, if it's not quite for you, or you want to call it a different name, all you need to do is go into settings, and then you have the option at the bottom to delete the device. Now, alternatively, if you haven't got access to the app and you just want to refresh the plug back to its factory settings, all you need to do is press and hold the button on the top of the device, hold it in for about 10 seconds or so until it starts flashing yellow again as if it's ready to be set up. And that's it. It's erased, ready for reuse again. So hopefully this has been a useful video for you. If it has, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, then please put them in the section below and I look forward to reading them. So this has been the Hive Plug Active Setup. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.